Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought it would be fun today to show you guys the dorm that I've been living in for the past three months. So this year I started at a new school. I'm currently at Columbia University in New York. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the little shoebox dorm that my roommate and I live in. Okay, so this is what you see when you first walk into the room. This is the drying rack that my roommate kindly lets both of us share. And then right behind that is my shoe rack. There's my shower caddy. And then when you look up a bit, I just have this kind of hanging rack that is honestly very, very useful. And I'm really glad that I got it. Um, That has my robe, my towel. That's just like a convenient place to put it so they can dry. And then I have my jackets because it is very cold in New York now, which makes sense. It's like the end of November. And then I have caps, my little bag right here, and my beanie. And then if you look up even more, you'll see this wonderful little angel uh, watching over our room. So her name is Heather and I recently got her for my birthday. So yeah, we love her. She's always very happy. This huge thing is my wardrobe and it fits a lot, honestly. I keep my pants and pretty much all my sweaters and tops in here, also towels and a lot of just like sanitary items. Really nice thing is that this comes with a mirror, which is kind of similar to my dorm last year. And on here, I just have some fun notes that you can read. So yeah, I really love this mirror. Very, it comes in very, very useful. So now I think I'll turn a bit to my bedside. I think this is called like a bedside caddy or something. The wheels, I'm not too sure. I also had this last year. It was really easy to assemble and put back together, so I'd highly recommend. I got this at Target. I have this lamp. I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, you definitely can. There are cracks in this because, I mean, because of the placement, I have dropped this maybe five to 10 times approximately. It's right near my bed, but I like this position because it's really easy to just like switch off while I'm sitting in my bed. So I taped it down. Doesn't look the prettiest, but it hasn't budged since. And then here I just have this Apple Watch charger and then this is the phone charger that I use every night. Below are just two baskets that this caddy came with. Here is kind of like my like sleep theme one. So there's earplugs, there's an eye mask, and then there's two books in there. And then right here, is, I don't really know, like a beauty one. There's like a face mask, a nail file, like nail polish, stuff like that. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to my beautiful bed, which I love so, so much. Underneath here, the dorm came with another set of cabinets, which also comes in useful. So in these, I mostly just also put like other clothing items. If we take a look from the side and get a better view, this is a really pretty like sundial mirror thing. I don't exactly use that as a mirror because I put it up really tall, but I think it's just really pretty. I got this at Marshall, so I'm super, super grateful I found that because I absolutely love it. I like brought it from my bedroom from home. And then over here are some beautiful pictures of people that I love. It's my friends and my family. Looking at these makes me feel very happy um, and also reminds me of like all the wonderful people in my life. Highly recommend doing a photo collage if you don't have one yet. Next to that, I have this teeny tiny Columbia flag. I've always thought it looks kind of funny because it's just like, <laughs> I don't know, like I should have put a bigger one here, but this is the only one I have. Next I have my pillows. So I have this pink one back here, this white one, um, a throw pillow, and then my wonderful friend Hershey. So this is Hershey, and that is Heather. And then this is a very fun spread that I have. I really like it. Um, and then I just have this throw blanket that I put at the edge of my bed. Okay, and now the final area is my desk area right here. So I keep my backpack right here. I feel like that's a convenient spot to put it. This is the fan that my roommate and I share. So our room is actually very, very toasty right now. And I think it is gonna stay this way throughout winter, which is a really good thing. The only thing is we can't like control the heating in our room. So sometimes it just gets, it just gets a little bit too hot. So we use this fan a lot at the beginning of the year when it was just hot outside. And now we're starting to use it again when the heating is just like nonstop in our room. Also, I just want to touch on like how pretty the color of the wood of our furniture is. I don't know what it's called. Maybe it's like a dark cherry kind of thing, but I just feel like 
It complements like the otherwise very bright room very well, like the bright walls and floor. And I feel like my desk has like a lot going on, so we can start at the top. I always, always love having a clock. If you guys watched my dorm tour last year, this is also the same clock that I used last year and also like throughout high school. I just think it's very pretty with the wood background. And then here I have this cute little L. Those are my childhood friends. This is a nice little mirror that I use sometimes. Next to that, I have my jewelry holder with this fun little crochet whale. I'm actually trying to learn how to crochet right now, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah, this jewelry holder comes in really handy. Sometimes necklaces do get tangled, but overall, I find it to be pretty useful. So I hang these here. Um, I have a little camera bracelet. If you wanna, the camera wants to say hello to the camera. So I have more beaded bracelets here. These are like rings and stuff like that. And then all around here are just like my favorite earrings that I brought here from home. Next we have this fun little moon that just sits on my top shelf. We have the Salvador Dolly clock that everyone comments on when they come in our room and I love it so much. Yeah, it just really stands out and I think it's definitely unique. I'm just so used to seeing it because I've had this since like middle school. So I'm like always, or like now I'm not surprised, but like I'd always be surprised when people point it out because I didn't even like really notice it. But yeah, it's very cool. It just hangs off the edge. It looks like it's like literally taken from the painting, like it's hanging off the edge. And this actually does work. I just don't put batteries in it because I feel like if there's two clocks, like I'm probably gonna look at that one because it's easier to read. Um, so I took the batteries up, but this actually does work. This is where my succulent used to live. I know how to take care of plants and I have literally no idea what happened. Actually, I do think I know what happened. So last year I had two succulents survive perfectly the whole entire year. Actually three, I had three succulents, but I do think I accidentally overwatered it. Definitely getting another succulent soon. Here are fun mochi, just very cute. Um, so I decided to place them there. If we come down, that is a picture of my beautiful family. This is us in the Bahamas this past summer. And here is a little turtle souvenir that I actually got from the Bahamas from that very trip. This is just like quartz. I don't know why I brought it. Here's my light board and then in front of that I have my speaker which I use sometimes in the mornings when I'm getting ready. It's just a convenient place to have it. Okay, next I have my books, and a lot of these are from the Literature Humanities course curriculum. Um, so that's the course that everyone in Columbia College takes their very first year here. This is a fake book. Inside is actually, you can open it up, and it's the letters for the lesson. And then I also just have this and paperweight to keep the books falling over. It's that they do fall over sometimes because this is like not enough to hold up that many books. Moving down, I have this pretty poster that I hid like snug underneath the second shelf. It actually fits pretty nicely. It says New York City of Dreams. This is my power strip, my lamp. Here I have my L mug and this coaster that I really, really like. I don't use this as much as I did last year because I don't have like a water boiler or kettle, but I don't know. I haven't found that to really be a problem. I still use it sometimes for like cold drinks. And then here is just like some supplies. Um, I feel like this is pretty self-explanatory. And then this is just a giant book on film that my friend gave me for my birthday. And again, these are drawers. Um, I keep snacks in this one. Also, I would show you guys what's in like all my drawers and everything, but it's a little bit messy, so maybe we won't today. But anyway, I keep my snacks in here. This is all of my, what is this actually? Oh, <laughs> like medicine and like alcohol pads and stuff like that. And then up here are all my electronics. In this one, just like this thin drawer right where I'm sitting, I keep just extra notebooks and papers. So yeah, that is my entire dorm tour. Um, very, very small, but I love it so, so much. Like I'm obsessed with my room and I also love like my roommate's side. I hope she's okay with me show you guys, but it's so cute, like what she did with the vines. So yeah, this is my dorm tour. If you have any questions about um, my dorm or Columbia in general or have any other video suggestions, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. I love reading your messages and Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye